Hi guys, uh, it's me again, Darren Ellis, Wild Camper 1967. And I just want to show you this little item. Come from Timu. Timu, Timu. And it is a Boundless Voyager Titanium Alcohol Pot. Came with that as well. Never purchased from Timu before. Um, I'm not sure how reliable this is, well not reliable, how safe this is, hence the reason I'm doing the experiment outside with it. Came with these as well. Now, I paid less than £10 for that, including this. Now, when I bought my copy um, Trangia one, I paid £12 for it. And then I had to buy these separate, costing about four or five pounds. So this was, I think it's under a tenner. So what I'm going to do is I've got 500 mils of water here. I'm going to put my flammable liquid into it and give it a go and see how long it takes to boil 500 mils of water. It's all lit. There's heat coming off it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 500 mils of water on it um, and then time it and see what it takes to boil it so let's carry on shall we if you've ever purchased anything off Timu let me know what you think of their products this is the first time I've ever bought from them so I thought I'll give it a go I'm a bit skeptical on the price considering that I know how much titanium pots cost so here we have a titanium alcohol burner next to nothing so yeah i want to it did do, it took what nearly two weeks to get to me let's see if it's worth the money starting the timer now so let's hope it will heat up quite quickly it has on the top compared with my transio one there are two sets of holes whereas my transio one i think i'll have to check it's only got one set at the top now with my Trangia, my Trangia copy, I've got a lid I can stick on the top to distinguish the flame. But this one, I have nothing. So it's a case of, well, putting the pot over the top. The only way of putting it out. And it's giving off some heat at the moment. I can feel the heat hitting me from here. So, it's working. It's building up heat nicely. The only problem is, like I said, I haven't got a clue how I'm going to put it out apart from taking the lid off the pot here and then emptying the pot and just tipping the pot over the top to get the flames to extinguish. So yeah, that's the downside with this thing compared with my Trangia copy. I do have a few other bits and pieces coming from this Timu site just to give it a go. And one of the things I purchased is, you found to have seen them, those little Kestrel wind monitors that's got the temperature thing, you know, the Kestrel ones that are around something like 150, 200 pounds. Um, this thing off Timu, Timu, um, it cost me less than 10 pound. So I'm waiting to see what this thing's like when I get it. You know, is it one of these things? It's not going to work. It's going to be badly made, or it might be just a success. It's like I said in my last video um, that I've just recently added you can buy stuff at a high-end price and you can buy stuff at mid-range price and the item will be just as good at the mid-range price as it is at the high-end price it's the same product with just no name to it and I'm wondering if this is the same with this little wind meter thing is it a case of it's just as good as the Kestrels Ooh, the heat come off that is it just as good as the Kestrel wind meter it just hasn't got a branded name to it. Maybe it's just that. It could be a good quality thing. Time will tell when it comes and it gets here and I will let you know. So I'm just waiting for this to boil. Uh, it's, I've got bubbles appearing and it's 3 minutes 35 seconds at present. So it's definitely not going to be as quick as gas obviously. But it's much more quieter. You also got to remember I'm not using any windshield around this alcohol burner. So yeah, it's going to take a lot longer because I've got nothing shielding it. I just wanted to see what it would burn, heat up water like, totally exposed out to the wind. And there is a little bit of a breeze 
blowing through it at present so it is going to slow the boil time down because it's at five and a half minutes at the moment and we are just getting some bubbles in there so it's it's not going to be a quick process so if you're out in the woods or wherever it is and you're dying for a cup of tea cup of coffee and you're in a hurry for one um, this isn't going to be the way of doing it stick with gas but this is just an experiment. It also came in this nice little bag as well. It's well packaged as well. So when it did arrive, it didn't look cheap. It didn't turn up in just like, well, it's hard to explain. It just didn't turn up like a cheap item would. You know what it's like when you buy something really cheap and you just turns up in a plastic bag and that's it. This didn't, this came really sealed up in a proper bag. Um, the bag was all printed up with the brand name on it. And this nice little Hessian sort of case, I don't know if you can see the branding on it. We're at seven and a half minutes or so. And we still haven't got a boil there yet. But like I said, I've got the wind, the little breeze blowing the flames all over the place at the moment. It would be a lot quicker with a shield around it. I'm on 9 minutes 20 and I still haven't got a boil yet. It's getting there, but it's not on a full boil yet. And the part I'm using at the moment, I'll show you in a second. In one of my videos I said about it, about when you buy a 900ml pot and you don't get 900ml. Well, this is a 750ml pot but it only holds 500 mils of water. So yeah, it's one of these things that when you buy these pots, don't go buy what they're advertised, as in what the capacity they say they hold. They will hold, this will hold 750 mil, but I mean right to the brim. The capacity of boiling safely and to use 500 mil. And yes, I know I'll keep letting the heat out as I'm checking and it's at 10 minutes 15. In regards to the weight of this alcohol stove, little burner, it is lighter than the Trangia copy I have. So it's, possibly it is genuine titanium. And it's discoloring like titanium does when the heat gets warm. So it's, it is a light product. So it may be worth the money. It hasn't melted. I mean, as it bubbled up and burst into flames on me. So, yeah, apart from the method of not being able to put it out, unless I could stick my pot on it, it's, it's a good purchase so far. I, I'm quite surprised. Especially when you look at some of the stuff on Timu, and it does look very, very cheap and nasty. Wow. Um, that was boiling for... 12, well, 13 minutes 7. Didn't quite come to a full boil. And all the alcohol was used up. Uh, yeah, and I put the maximum amount of alcohol it needs to go in it. But it's, yeah, it didn't actually boil the water. It's had. 30 mils, it's got a little measure in there. So I burnt 30 mils of flammable liquid, the proper stuff you use for the um, burners, and it lasted 13 minutes. So, yeah, not brilliant. But that's what I mean. If you can get this one up here, you can see the twin holes around the top. Now I'm going to try with this one that has a single rim on it and see how long that takes and put the same amount of alcohol in it and burn. Heat up another 500 mils and time that. See what difference is and see if it still keeps burning compared with this one after 13 minutes. 60 mil of fluid it had in there, not 30. Now I put the same in this one and I'm going to do the same experiment and see what happens. Right, here we go. We're just doing the experiment with this one then and see how long this takes. Hopefully, this one will burn a bit quicker and heat it up a bit faster and keep burning longer than that thing did so maybe that's not a good purchase might be titanium but yeah it's using up the liquid too much 
Well, with this Trangia copy, the point of where this one stopped heating up, I am at that point now at 11 minutes 50. And that took just over 13 minutes to get almost to a boil. It's the same amount of liquid, 500 mils. And I burnt the hairs on my arm. Just now I can smell the burning hair as I leant over it. And this one's still going. The only difference between the two pots is that's a 650, that's a 750. They're both titanium. But the titanium alcohol stove burnt out unprotected with no windshield around it for just over 13 minutes and it used all the fluid up this one is still burning away there's still a lot of heat coming off of it and this is a much this is just your standard trying to copy I think because that one's got the two ring, two whole rings around it, is why it burnt more alcohol, um, burnt all the alcohol too quickly. <laughs> and this one is just on the border edge of boiling, at 13, pour, um, 13 minutes 20. With a windshield around it, it'd probably be a lot quicker. But anyone using alcohol stoves would know that these things are not incredibly quick. Well, with this Trangia copy, the point of where this one stopped heating up, I am at that point now at 11 minutes 50. And that took just over 13 minutes to get almost to a boil. It's the same amount of liquid, 500 mils. And I burnt the hairs on my arm just now. I could smell the burning hair as I leant over it. And this one's still going. The only difference between the two pots is that's a 650, that's a 750. They're both titanium. But the titanium alcohol stove burnt out unprotected with no windshield around it for just over 13 minutes and it used all the fluid up this one is still burning away there's still a lot of heat coming off of it and this is a much this is just a standard trying to copy I think because that one's got the two ring, two whole rings around it, is why it burnt more alcohol, um, burnt all the alcohol too quickly. <laughs> and this one is just on the border edge of boiling, at 13, pour, um, 13 minutes 20. With a windshield around it, it'd probably be a lot quicker. But anyone using alcohol stoves would know that these things are not incredibly quick. Right, that is 15 minutes, 23 seconds to boil 500 mils of fluid. That is unprotected from a windshield. But this Trangia copy is still burning away. It's still heat, you know, still, the flames are still going. Unlike the titanium one. The titanium one lasted just over 13 minutes. So would I recommend the Timu titanium one? No, it doesn't, it's not going to be more, it's not going to be fuel efficient compared with the Trangia copy. So I'm just reheating the other one. Yeah, it's not going to be fuel efficient as the Trangia copy. Would I recommend fuel stoves full stop no I wouldn't in the sense that if you are in a hurry you want to cook something quickly you want to heat water up quickly then uh, these are not recommended 
because they take forever to do anything. But these take up less space in your bag. Okay, yeah, you might have to carry some like that. That's a litre one. I've got the half litre as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, you you have to carry that as well extra. Uh, but the thing is, with your gas stove, you can only use gas, whereas you can use the proper fuel that you buy in millets. You can use surgical spirit, white spirits, basically anything flammable really. You can whack in one of these. I, I wouldn't advise petrol, obviously. But yeah, surgical spirits, um, turps, white spirits, or the proper biofuel you can use in it. Whereas with the gas ones, you're limited. Plus, the fuel for these things you can get anywhere. Most hardware stores, DIY shops, if you're in England. American hardware, obviously. Whereas, your camping gas stoves, you'll have to go to somewhere that's just specialised in them. Millets, camping shops. It's not as a case you can just walk into, a, say, B&M, not B&M, yeah, B&M, B&Q and get gas bottles for your stove, gas stove. Whereas if you've got one of these alcohol burners, you can go in B&M and just buy white spirits and use that in there. You go to your chemist and buy surgical spirits and it does the same thing. But yeah, this thing is still burning. There's still that, that much fluid in the bottom, I can see it. So, economical wise when it comes to fuel go for the Trangia copy or go for the genuine tri um, Trangia if you want something light then yeah go for the titanium one but it's going to burn a hell of a lot more fuel than what this thing does this thing is still got flame still going in it and it's been going probably 20 minutes now so 20 minutes and it's still burning that lasted a fraction over 13 minutes well the Trangia copy burnt for a total of 25 minutes 30 seconds so basically almost double the time to this one so if you're gonna buy an alcohol stove don't buy the one off Timu that's titanium it's called the Boardless Voyage Titanium. Um, I don't know if you can see it from there. You see it on the bag anyway, as you can see. I wouldn't recommend it. If you if you buy from Timu, it is yeah. It, you get what you pay for. Um, in this case, it looks it looks a job. Um, it looks like you're going to get a real good bargain, but it's not really fuel efficient. You're not going to get a full boil out of it. Yes, I tested it in a breezy area and not protected. So that would cut down some of the element of the boiling time or make it longer. But the fact is, this one, no, don't bear with me. This one is more financially viable, and that's the difference. That comes with the lid and the adjuster, so you can adjust your flame on it. So that's that what you get. With this one, that is all you get. Roughly about the same price. And I also, yeah, when I bought this, it did come with the metal cage with it as well. You had like a it will stand on it but the only problem was it was no good for these type of pots because they sank in too much and then ended up putting the flames out hence the reason why I ended up having to buy these for it so I could sit my pots on top well that's a re review done on these two alcohol stoves um, if you've purchased one of these off Timu and it fared better than it did with you for the, it, than it did with me so I'm still bunged up from this cold 
then feel free to drop some comments on my channel. Let me know what you thought if you bought one of these. Um, I have a few more bits, like I say, come from Timu. And I will let you know whether Timu is cheap and nasty or whether it's worth buying from. Personally, it's all cheap Chinese stuff, mass produced. But then at the end of the day, everything we buy majority of times now is from China anyway. So you can't actually go by that. All I'm going by is the fact that this only lasted just over 13 minutes. This one lasted just over 26. Well, yeah, about 26, say 26. It was just over 25 uh, minutes. So it's close to 26. So you can say, yeah, double the time to what that one was. So there you go. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.